Hi guys, welcome back to another um, episode on my channel today. You're tuning in to Trinice TV and I have my queen above me and the queen is speaking. Guys, I ran across an article in my local newspaper in the perspective section that says, and I got to share this with you all, how to get people to take a vaccine and boost the economy. They said, give Americans $1,500 for getting vaccinated. What? Okay. Let's go. All right, this is a guest columnist, John Delaney writes, we're going to have a vaccine. The end is in sight. Really? It won't be easy and it won't be overnight, but in the last two weeks, Pfizer and Moderna have announced that their vaccines are highly effective in clinical trials. I need to know what y'all think about this. Thanks to the incredible American innovation machine, it is likely that we are going to have much better vaccines, hmm. delivered much faster than many predicted back in March. We're going to have a vaccine. Now we need to pay people to take it. Call it a vaccine stimulus, restored public health and a stronger economy in one shot. Unfortunately, Progress has been stalled on a new COVID relief package for months and months and months. Lawmakers have argued about the size of the next bill and advocates have rightly pushed for important provisions like enhanced unemployment insurance, state and local aid, and vaccine distribution funding. But there has been one key plank missing incentives for a skeptical and divided American public to actually, actually take the vaccine. Solving the vaccination distribution and stimulus at the same time. In a dysfunctional, dysfunctional Washington, it's best to offer simple solutions that solve multiple problems at once. That, this is why I am pushing for a vaccine stimulus program to address both the economic pain facing Americans and the need to get as many Americans vaccinated as soon as possible. It's a simple idea. Pay Americans $1,500 to take a vaccine. Okay. It further reads, upon proof of vaccination, the government mails or deposits a $1,500 check like the very popular stimulus payment included in the CARES Act. Let's put money directly in people's pockets. That's what I would think and make sure. Don't take a genius to know that, does it? First, there's a tremendous economic need for a second round of stimulus. They definitely, guys, they definitely, they should have read this article. Earlier this year, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimated that the coronavirus will shrink the economy by approximately $8 trillion over the next decade. Data from Yelp indicates that more than half of the businesses that closed since March will never reopen and unemployment is still 75% higher than the pre-pandemic rate. Those that can least afford it have paid the highest price, and that is so true. Data from the Federal Reserve shows that post-pandemic, 28% of those making less than 40%, I mean $40,000, were laid off or lost their job, and that for most of them, it hasn't come back. I'm going to end that here. I'm going to do this the second part. Y'all know me. I'm going to do part two. But I want to know. I, want, I just want to sit that here on the table. And I want y'all to just meditate on that. And comment below and tell me what you think. Would you take the best? Would you? I don't know. I don't need $1,500 like that. I mean, we all need it. But not like that. I mean, they're going to have to get some clinical trials. Get some guinea pigs. Because I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it. 
but I'd like to know what you what, what you feel about it. I'd like to know. So comment below, like and hit the bell so that as I make new videos, you'll know that I've uploaded them and subscribe to me. And let's let's talk about this thing, guys. Let's talk about it. But um, if you read the Clarion Ledger, it is in the Sunday, November 29th version of Perspectives. And it says how to get people to take a vaccine and boost economy. Let's talk about it. Be blessed.